<clears throat> hey guys, Moon here, and I'm back with, you guessed it, another tier list. <laughs> I know that not everyone likes tier lists, but honestly, I do. And I figured, why not make a tier list of an anime I really like, Sonic X. We've got five tiers. Ranging from perfection all the way to absolutely terrible. So, well, we'll just get into it. We have Emerald. A character I really didn't get that attached to, honestly. I wouldn't say it's terrible. But really, I just, I don't care, honestly. I really just, I don't care. <clears throat> now, not sure if that's Deco or Boko. I know it's one of the robot goons. I honestly think both of them, or the other one. Where'd he go? I know he's around here somewhere. There he is. Honestly, I think they're both fine. They're not really. Not great, but they're not terrible either. Now, cream and cheese. Cream and cheese, honestly, thought were they were amazing. They had pretty good characterization. They were pretty prominent in the series, showing up immediately in episode two. They were there pretty much the entire time. And yeah, they're little. Cream is little kid. People can find little kid characters annoying. But I think Cream and Cheese were just fine in the series. They weren't my absolute favorites, but they were actually not bad. Cosmo. Cosmo as a character, I'd say, was absolute perfection. She had character development. Shen Ark, she and Tails were amazing together. And her death was just absolutely tragic. I get why she sacrificed herself. But it was so sad to see someone Tails loved die. So, yeah. Cosmo, I'm using character. Eggman. Oh, Eggman. Eggman, I usually don't like that much as a character. But I think the characterization in the series was, well, amazing. Usually I wouldn't like Eggman because he's a film from trying to destroy Sonic and the gang. But I think I can give him a slight pass. He was well characterized in the series, so... Yeah. Now, who the heck is this? I honestly don't remember you, so I'm gonna put you in the I don't care category because honestly, I don't. Because I don't know you. <laughs> now, Vector. Usually, I really don't care for Vector. I really don't. He He's supposed to be a detective. But he misunderstood what Vanilla wanted. He tried to force Cream to go with them. And he just... I never really got attached to Victor as a character. I really just don't have an attachment to him. Now, here's a little kid character that I find annoying. Charmy. Charmy B. He's a little kid, yeah, but... I just also found him annoying. He was hyperactive, always saying something, just bouncing off the walls with energy, it's just... Yeah. Now, Sam. Oh, Sam. I'd say he's fine, I guess. His rivalry with Sonic was like, Dude, you're never going to beat Sonic, so just stop trying. He's the fastest thing alive, fall closely behind my shadow, and if she won the series, Blaze. 
But you, you're a human trying to drive a vehicle to catch up with someone who's, who can run faster than probably the speed of light. So, why are you even trying when we all know you're never going to catch him? So, yeah. Plus, it's a character I just found anno annoying. I don't know why I couldn't talk there, but... Um, but honestly, I don't think he was terrible, either. He definitely could have been a lot better. <laughs> a lot better. But he also could have been a lot worse. So, yeah. Now, the president. The president as a character, I was a bit iffy on. Because honestly, I'm like, what's the point of getting the government involved? What's really the point? Sonic and the gang can handle it. They really can. I don't, I didn't see what was the point of getting the government and especially the president involved. But, actually, I found him to be an amazing character in terms of the fact that he wasn't up to forcing Sonic to work with him, and he seemed just fine with what was happening with Sonic doing things on their own, but his present, his aide, that guy was the one that I really didn't like. Trying to force Sonic to work with you? No. Trying to force him to race? No. <laughs> Ella. Usually people wouldn't like her thinking she's just a maid. But Ella actually was an amazing character. She had characteris characterization. She wasn't just a maid. She went all out at times. And the situation... <laughs> Bo Coon will never mess with someone like her again. <laughs> now, this young lady, I believe her name was Frances. No, that's not her. I can't tell who that is. We'll get back to him. Meanwhile, Bo Coon. Bo Coon, I really didn't like. I don't even know what the heck he's supposed to be. He... Some would say he just went back to man's robots. But something in that takes that off for me and stuff like that. He cries and he eats. Robots that don't require sustenance and they can't cry. So, yeah. Don't think Bo Koon is a robot. Or at least not a normal robot if he is one. Now, Espio. Espio, Espio, of all the Chaotix, I think he was fine. Not my favorite. I'm really, I'm not attached to the Chaotix very much, since they don't show up very often. They showed up in the Ghost Chaotix, they showed up in Sonic X, and they were there in Sonic Forces, I guess. But beyond that, they rarely ever show up, and they don't get a lot of character development. Out of all of them, SBO to me is the least annoying and the aggravating. He's calm, he's a ninja lizard, so that's cool. He just doesn't bother me as much as Victor and Charmy. No, you. <laughs> I don't remember your name. And I don't remember you at all, I just know that you're related to Cosmo in some way. So since I don't remember you very well, I'm gonna put you in the I don't care category. <clears throat> because if I don't know you, then I really don't care. <sighs> no. Shadow. Shadow, oh shadow. If anyone knows anything about me, is that Shadow is one of my favorite Sonic characters. And I will stand by the opinion that he's not an sword and that he is indeed 18 years old. Yeah. <laughs> he, <clears throat> his character was pretty much perfection. He didn't hate Sonic necessarily. And he wasn't evil, thank goodness. 
can act like an edge lord. And overall, he was amazing. Pretty much perfection. No, Sonic who Sonic is also basically perfection. I mean, obviously he's the main protagonist. So of course they will make him <laughs> great. But I honestly think they did a good job with his characterization. <clears throat> he went on and did things. He made friends with people like Helen. He actually jumped in the water to save Amy. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. So the... <clears throat> at least in the Sonic X universe, Sonic can swim. At least to a degree. <laughs> No, Knuckles. Knuckles! He was fine. Honestly. They didn't make him a knucklehead. They didn't make him dumb. They didn't sound like Boom series. He actually wanted to go home and guard the Master Emerald. You know, he wanted to do his job. And he contributed at least as much as he could. He was a bit of a lone wolf, which I find to be okay. Mostly overall, Knuckles was fine. Amy, Amy, Amy. Amy, I didn't find as bothersome as I would in other series. Sure, she's still in love with Sonic. That is definitely true. But she's not always chasing him. And she branches out, she does some cooking and baking. And she generally is trying to have a nice time. She's not overly overly obsessed with Sonic in the Sonic X series like she like she is in others. And overall, she was characterized very well, so I think Amy's character was amazing. <clears throat> no. I'm pretty sure that is Francis. Francis and Danny. They were... Honestly, I didn't really care for them all that much. They weren't absolutely terrible, but... It's just like... Um... Okay, whatever. No. Mr. and Mrs. Thorndike. They were both. Honestly. I don't know where Mr. Thorndike went, but Mrs. Thorndike. <sighs> there he is. They were fine. Honestly. They were kind of just stereotypical rich kid parents. But at least they cared about their son and tried to be there for him every once in a while. So, yeah. They were fine. Alright. Gamma. Gamma was basically like he was an adventure. And since so he didn't really have any character assistance other than going out and feeding the others, I really don't care about him. Big the cat. Just as annoying and lazy as he is an adventure. <coughs> there was no characterization, no development. So, honestly, don't really like him as a character. No, Chuck, aka Chris's grandpa. He was very well characterized. <coughs> Not my favorite, but he was definitely better than some of the other human characters. So, yeah. 
Chuck. Chaos. Not in the street. Chaos. Don't really care. Yeah, I said it. I really don't care about him. I mean, yeah, it's shown that he wasn't a villain. He was a child guardian and all that. I just really never really cared. Now, Topaz. Topaz, I think her as a character, yeah, she was amazing. She bent her rules and was actually a human that, though she was with the government, she didn't, she wasn't like some of those others. And she and Rue, over time, became friends. So, yeah. Topaz, great. To call. To call. Well, she was to call. And she was fine. Pretty much like she was in the game. But I didn't find her as annoying as some of the ones down here. Mr. Tanaka. Some people may not like Mr. Tanaka, but actually, as a character, who are this? There. That. There it is. As a character, I thought he was amazing. He grew up out in the country somewhere. He was very good at trying to help the family. <laughs> He was interested in martial arts. He was a very interesting character. Honestly, I really liked him start to knock out as a character. He's nearly a favorite. He's not quite there, but he's very close. No. Who is this? Oh, yeah. You. <laughs> yeah. You. I remember you now. And honestly, as a villain, you were good, but overall, as a character, I just think you're fine. Really, just like, what was the point of the Mandarax? I don't know. Um, who are you? And the one beside you? I don't know. So I'm putting you? In the I don't care category. Because honestly, if I don't know you, no character, then I really don't care. Wow. The I don't care category is slightly longer than all the others. Now, oh, Christopher, Christopher Thorndike. I don't like him at all. Yeah, I said it. I don't like Christopher, Christopher Thorndike. He's annoying. He's always wanting to be around Sonic and go where Sonic goes. He wants to get up into everyone's business. He's basically a stereotypical rich kid. He tried to force the Sonic to stay in his world. And it's like, Chris, I don't like you. I really, really don't. I wish you never existed. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't care for that guy at all. If he phoned up in lava or died in any way, I would just turn away and be like, who cares? Because honestly, I don't know if any Sonic fan likes Christopher Thorndike. Like, because <laughs> if someone does, then bring them to me. Or any other Sonic fan, because, whoa! We make it to different, man! <laughs> no, King Boom Boo, which is a weird name. I really. He was fun. He was in the series briefly. Just like in the games, you know. Yeah. As for Helen, her character was amazing. 
she was a handicapped girl stuck in a wheelchair. But she wanted to go and explore. And her and Sonic had a nice time going to the island. And I think she overall was an amazing character. She was in the series very long, but she was great. Now, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do know who that is. And overall, it just makes me sad. Maria. Maria Robotnik. Her character was basically perfection. She was super sweet, a close friend of shadows, and just wanted to help people. But then someone had to be evil and go and kill her. Basically right in front of Shadow too. So it's like, then what's wrong with you killing a little girl? You deserve to go to prison for life. <laughs> yeah, she didn't deserve that. And that's I feel really bad for her. And I understand how Shadow feels. Now. <clears throat> I don't know you. Look. I literally don't recognize you at all. And since I don't know you, I'm putting you here. In the I don't care category. Because honestly, I really don't care. No, Rouge. Rouge, oh Rouge. Rouge's character was, well, amazing. She was a jewel thief, turned government spy, and though she was still after the Chaos Emeralds, she was on the side of good. And, no. so overall, she flirted with Knuckles a bit. Which was honestly kind of cute. I do ship them. You wouldn't know if you watched my three part song shipping tier list. And overall, she's great. Scarlett Garcia, the news reporter. Her character was honestly fine. She didn't get a lot of development. She's just a news reporter. But. She wasn't a bad character, per se. Just a bit of a bland one. Mr. Stewart. Honestly, I quite liked his character. Do I think he was a bit creepy constantly throwing Chris around? Yes. Yes, I do. But he didn't necessarily have bad intentions. Honestly, I think he's fine. Pretty good. Tails. Tails' character was perfection. He had development. He lost his love. Cosmo. Which is just like so, so sad. <laughs> really, really was. And overall, Tails. I like Tails as a character. No. I'm not gonna rank that image because. Now you don't even know if that's the character in the show. No. Vanilla, aka Cream's mother. She wasn't in the series quite long, but overall, I do think she was fine. And wow, the just fine category is the longest. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> but yeah, she was fine. A motherly character. Because, well, she is a mother. But yeah, guys, this is my Sonic X characters tier list. A lot shorter than some of the others. And I'm very strong about these opinions. Especially the fact that I do not like Christopher Thorndike at all. <laughs> yeah. If you're ever talking about Sonic X, you're going to get an earful about how, an earful about how Christopher Thorndike is terrible. <laughs> but yeah, this is how I feel about Sonic X. If you have your own opinions, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys <clears throat> next time.